it going YouTube? It's your man the Dark Rifle and I'm coming to y'all today to show y'all where y'all can get all the exotic weapons from in the game. Well first you can get any exotics from these caches. The Last Stand cache, Field Persistency, Survival and Underground. All exotics drop at a 1% chance. You also guarantee an exotic from weekly and exotic caches. You can obtain these weekly caches by doing certain assignments every week also you can get exotic caches by doing legendary missions or an incursion on heroic also that's once a week dark zone leaderboard caches can drop exotics medium caches drop exotics at a 50 percent chance and large cash caches drop them at a hundred percent chance so it's a guaranteed exotic from the large cache their chest piece drops at light city Vincent at a one percent drop rate Bliss Hustle will drop at a 2% rate by killing the Bliss Boss. Joe Farrell's mask drops at a 1% chance. Short bow knee pads will be dropped at a 1% chance at the Madison Field Hospital if played on hard difficulty. Call MC gloves have changed. Now you can get them from the Caduceus and the Denimbrae drop at a 2% drop rate at open world bosses only. The Medved and the Warlord dropped at a 5% chance at the Falcon Loss and Clear Sky Incursion on challenging and heroic difficulty. Golden Rhino drops at a 5% chance on Dragon's Nest from the Fire Truck on either Legendary or, a, or Heroic difficulty. Also, the Hilder and the Air drop from any HVT bosses at a 2% chance. The Hungry Hog and the Midas drops at a 2% chance from any Dark Zone boss. The Tommy Gun and the Thompson both drop from Dark Zone Supply drops and Contaminated Event drops. Rate unknown, but people guess it's at a 1% chance. But these Tommy Guns and stuff, it only used to drop in Supply drops, so this is a change. Um, the Showstopper and the Urban MDR both drop at, a, at any challenging mission at a 2% drop rate. Bull for all can be attained from contaminated events, but drop rate is unknown. All other exotic can be obtained at the special e equipment vendor in the base operations. They all they all like 1,331 Phoenix credits. Lastly, the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag. Obviously, you can't get the drop anymore because it got removed from the game. But it's gonna come back into the game and it's gonna be reworked. So just be ready for it in future patches. So if you have one, keep it. I hope you guys got a lot of information from this video. You know how we do it, man. Let's get it. Let's rock.